Man, there's still so much to do. It's freaking. It's an hour. What's this stuff? Splash fizz. Sounds close enough to water for me. Little bubble. They're not being bubble. That's not bad. I've had much worse. This has to get done. Wait. Oh, hello, folks. Welcome back. I'm your one, the only hobo Tom. What shirt am I wearing? Why am I wearing a Young Buck shirt on the day of a WWE show? Oh, wait, I know why. It's because last night, in preparation for hopefully having a woman over at the house. Yeah. So it's always good to have women at the house. But in order to do that, I had to... I had to clean up said house, and all of my WWE shirts, they are currently put away, and that's where they're going to stay until at least Sunday, because, yep, a couple of news and notes, um, oh yeah, Kushida, bye, bye Kushida, Kushida might be leaving NXT, um, probably, probably because he's upset in the way they're using him in Jiro. Yeah, he might have one match against Von Wagner, and that will probably be it for Jiro, if he's not already gone. Um, he might be there later on, on like a per day basis. Who knows? This stuff's actually pretty decent. Splash Fizz. It's pretty close to my water I'm trying to have every night. In fact, I'm going to change my diet up a little bit since I'm not as active but still working though uh, and also I have a thank you to give out the NWO legend thank you very much sir you sir are a man of refined tastes as you know that Natalia is superior <laughs> And let's see, a little bit news and notes for this week. Might as well do that now. That way you guys have a clue as to when to watch. This is waiting through the whole video. Tomorrow, I should be doing a live stream. Should be. <laughs> that always depends. Wednesday, I should also be doing a live stream. I'm pretty sure I'll be doing live, going live. That's less I have to do during the, at night, which is good. Thursday, I have to drop off Easter goodies to a friend up in Jacksonville and watching Dune and eating delicious Chinese takeout food. So I might not be home for Impact. It's a go-home show. Impact's weird. But Thursday, I'm going to put up my prediction videos for both. I think it's No Surrender and Backlash. Uh, Friday, I'm going to see if I can do, for change, a live stream. Well, again, we'll, we'll, we'll see how things go. Fridays are always odd for some reason. If not, for sure, Impact No Surrender will be up. I'll be doing a live stream reaction on that Saturday, along with eating my first homemade meal with meat, a smokehouse brisket sandwich. Sounds so good already. And then Sunday, it's going to be WWE Backlash. Uh, that whole week should be, for the most part, a normal week unless something screwy happens. And then I'll probably see if I can sneak in a reaction live show um, for Chapter Uno, Triple Mania, because I've already been looking at a couple things possible thumbnails for Triple Mania Chapter 1. Uh, I have to write those matches down eventually. I think I know one of the matches is going to be the Lucia Brothers versus the Hardy Boys, I think. Um, 
Iho del Vikingo is taking on someone. There's going to be a Lumberjack match. Sammy Guevara and Ty Conti are taking on two other teams. I, I, I forget. You'll get more details, unfortunately, as I get them. And it is... God. But, uh, that was the one thing I hated about Lent. Is that when he came in, when El Vagabundo showed up, my, he made my house smell like a Mexican whorehouse because one of his stench and all the tequila he drank. Terrible, terrible human being that El Vagabundo is. Actually, I should have. I don't know. We'll see. See if I can talk him into that. <laughs> we'll see, folks. But enough about that. Let me have a little sip of this amazing fizzy stuff. Zero sugars. Tastes like lemons. Lemons are good for you. You're supposed to have like like lemon water before you go to sleep. I've had vinegar water, and I had some probiotic tea with ginger. Man, all I did was piss and shit for like three days. It was a weird feeling. So let's get to some raw. Um, start off, we saw I have some promos. Cody Rhodes is saying, yeah, I'm going to take on everyone. I'm going to be champ soon. So Seth Rollins comes out. Well, you're going to fight someone of my choosing because you're going to fight me later. So, um, opening match starts off Naomi and Sasha Banks taking on Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan. And I'll tell you what. I've had debates about this about friends in the past. Women with tattoos. The other one I'm not liking is the one that's like between and underneath. Um... The memory glands? Yeah. That just looks weird. Like, I get... Again, I understand a little flower anklet on the... little flower anklet on um, a little fairy... Like a flowery tramp stamp thing. Butterflies, hummingbirds, pretty koi fish. Like, colorful... Feminine stuff? But like skulls and I don't know, like gray and white internal body visages underneath where ba where babies feed. Um, I'm trying to think of creative ways to say breasts versus saying tits, breasts, and boobas all the time. Money bags. Fun bags. Um, yeah. I'll think of more creative ways. Like, if you have, like, a little like a little rose petal, like a flower on your breast, I'm kind of okay with that. Like, that's something for a foreplay. Like, I can deal with. Like, I don't want to see, like, flaming skull tattoos. Like... Over the areolis. That's like... I'll see that and be like, nah. Again, the only other thing that freaks me out is a tongue piercing. And even now... Lip piercings also seem weird. I forget if I... Kissed her when she had a lip piercing. I don't know. It's just weird. Like, that's like a hole. I don't know. I understand earrings and stuff. Nose, eyes. Belly button. The belly button heals up weird. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll give it that. Like, that's just like... If you're going to have a belly button piercing, ladies, you have to, like, keep that in, like, for life. And heaven forbid, if you ever have kids and turn like 80 years old and you have this weird like loop out of your belly button, that's just weird. 
anything down there, I, I, I say no to. Yeah, that, that doesn't, I don't even, that's, that's no joy. Subdermal piercings or studs are just weird. Yeah, I'm very traditional, I guess. If you have, like, earrings, I'm okay with that. Nose rings. Eh. Lip. Eyes. No, no tongue. No, no. Never. Yeah, so Rhea Ripley's, now that I saw, like, her under cleavage tattoos. Nah. Um. Yeah, other than that, this is actually a pretty decent match. Again, Naomi and Sasha Banks again Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan. Uh, Sasha, they start the match off pretty hot. Uh, Sasha missed a drop kick. Rhea, Rhea Ripley did not. Uh, Liv gets used as a weapon. That's always great to say. Liv gets sent into the post by both Naomi and Sasha when they're on the outside. Good. Ooh, good double team outside by both teams. Uh, Sasha, uh, Sasha ate a riptide. Onto the barricade. Naomi got backstabbed on the outside. So that was pretty good to see. And um, then they missed time that electric chair bulldog. I think Naomi was up in the electric chair position. But not a little too soon. Liz, Liv, Liv couldn't keep up with the bulldog. Uh, Rhea Ripley. Uh, rip, <laughs> rip tighted Sasha. But was broken up by Naomi. Naomi and Sasha. Combo. Wait, hyper combo. Yep, from the old killer instinct. Combo breaker. Yeah. Com awesome combo. Yep, they did that to Rhea Ripley. She lost. Liv was stuck on the outside. Um, and then Rhea Ripley's like upset. Rhea Ripley, you're the one that ate the pin. Don't blame Liv. Live life. Bay Bay. And then, yeah, so this match, so Naomi and Sasha retain. Rhea Ripley then turned on Liv Morgan. She beat her up. Whoa. Rhea Ripley has just made poor choices in tag team partners. That's about it. Uh, so overall, it was a good match. Cheeseburger match. And then there was, again, Liv got um, corralled backstage. It's like, I don't know, why do you think I did that? I don't know. She, she's, she's getting her flow. And who knows? Um, then there was a boo, Sonya Deville in the ring. Boo. Boo forever, Sonya Deville. Boo. Boo, Sonya Deville. They got rid of Tegan Knox, but they kept you. Who else did they get rid of? They got rid of Chelsea Green. They kept you. They got rid of Santana Garrett. It was cute. And kept you. MJ was okay. Who else? Santana Garrett. Zia Lee, they like... Buried... Lana Lane became a lesbian and changed her name. Um, yeah, Mary Jane, they got rid of. Karen Q, they turned into Wendy Choo Choo Nappy. Who else is there? Indy's still around. Yeah, that probably is it. Terrible. Terrible. Wait a second. Who was that? That was. Who's that? Whose signature is that? That's weird. I remember her. She was hot. But she has tattoos too. Kind of weird. Enough about that though. They kept you so boo. And you beat my princess Kimberly. If they never got rid of. Kimberly or Kimberly Franklin or whatever other name she had 
She might have never married that loser. She might have never been abused. She might have hooked up. The one, the only, and single, Hobo Tom. And then I would have never slapped her. Maybe the backdrop onto the, maybe the belly to back suplex onto said bed. But that's different. Yeah. That's like fun stuff. Again, the, the, the body slam onto the bed. That'd be cute. I, I'm sure the wrestlers do all that goofy stuff to their significant other all the time. It's probably infuriating, too. Oh, I have to hurry up. Um, yeah, I'm going... But boo, Sonya Deville! So, yeah, I don't want to hear her about how that she was forced to become an executive. Boo! Kimberly... My princess, Kimberly... Should have become an executive, not you. Boo! Uh, so yeah, there was that. And there was Veer. Uh, took on Jeff Brook. Thank you, Jeff Brook. Collect your $500. Get out of here. Um, Jeff just got tossed. You know, he, gets, he got pounced. Sidewalk slammed. And that big clothesline and the sit down. Kind of scissor choke. Veer won. It was good. It was against a jobber. So you know what was going to happen. Solid ham sandwich match. Then there was more Boo Sonya Deville. This is not Raw Sonya Deville. This is not Sonya Deville's Raw. But I want to see Sonya Deville in the Raw. No! I want to see Princess Kimberly in the Raw. But yeah, no. No more Sonya Deville. Boo Sonya Deville. I don't... Again, the day she pinned my Princess Kimberly was the day that she gets eternally booed. Uh, then the Kevin Owens show, <laughs> as the chopper was leaving, <laughs> like holding his neck, Actually, the jobber was on said stretcher. <laughs> Kevin Owens is like, ha, <laughs> uh, Kevin Owens is so good. Um, he has Ezekiel on the lie detector test. He had to tell one true thing. He's like, and I think it's a, like, just get a baseline. And that makes sense. They do that. I don't know if they do it on a computer. Normally, it's like the little, like, paper thing. Ooh, uh, you, you lied, sir. Uh, that's questionable. Yeah, it kind of made it look really obvious. He should have told him, they should have asked him like some more lies though, just to see something. But yeah, that's a minor quibble about that. It was okay. Then we had Ezekiel taking on Chad Gable because Chad Gable is also the one administering the said test. Ezekiel, uh, that basement clothesline, then picked up Chad Gable, threw him into the corner for some chops. Again, not quite the Minoru Suzuki. Samoa Joe chop fest, but still pretty good. Uh, Chad with the, the trap dag, dragon screw, screw leg whip, and some more dragon screw leg whips. That does look vicious. If you know it's coming, it's probably not bad, but still. Uh, again, then Chad Gable hit a Northern Lights bridging suplex. One of the prettiest moves ever. Um, Zeke. Did the mule kick. And then Oda showed up. What? So that means we gotta fill the dust to finish, baby. Ezekiel won. Actually, it was fairly entertaining, but nothing spectacular. Ham sandwich match. Then we have the RK Bro versus the Street Profits. Um, RK Bro again. The double team is always good. The, the, they did the double hand stomps. Randy Orton would do, stomp one hand. Matt Riddle would stomp the other. And there was assisted fluting bro. Ford, he got to the uh, top rope Spanish fly. That should be ultimate finisher. That Spanish fly, top rope Spanish flies and pile drivers should just be like the most protected moves, moves ever. But they're not. Eventually Randy Orton gets the hot tag. He gets in. Uh, RK Bro hit some stereo draping DDTs. 
Then they play, then Ford points to the screen, and you're like, Ooh, so! And you're like, oh, whoa, the Usos are going to come up. So Randy and Matt Riddle were thoroughly distracted. Ford climbs up. It's a big splash of his. I don't know how he gets those up, but that's amazing. Um, yeah, that splash was great. Street Profits won. They said, hey, you don't have to worry about the Usos. You have to worry about us, too. Cheeseburger match. Um, but again, WWE backstage area is probably the most dangerous place. AJ's giving an interview. The lights go off. WWE has to learn to pay the power bill. They have to learn to figure out the utilities for these stadiums. Just can't have some idiot just playing with circuit breaker panels. Um, but then, of course, Edge and Damian Priest, like, teleported in. And AJ did the like the gentleman thing and like told Sherry Shriver get out of here. Bad things are gonna happen. Now then the next match was Finn Balor versus Theory. Uh, Finn sh shoulder tackle in the corner when he got when he backs up Theory into the corner. And Theory it's chin lock mania time from Austin Theory. He does that neck breaker to the outside which looks good. Finn hits a double stomp. Um, a little back and forth theory, the the belly to back suplex, the big clothesline. Finn stomps. He does a mud hole stomp onto onto theory. And then Theory hit a springboard Spanish fly. That could mean most anyone's finisher and should be, but it wasn't though. Finn uh, he did the flip over the top rope. Austin Theory then hit the ATL and we have a new champ. Austin Theory is the new U.S. champ. I did not see that coming. All the heels come on and celebrate, and Mr. even Mr. McMahon raised his hand. I was impressed. It was a fun match, too. Surf and turf match. And Seth did an interview... Um, and then a stupid commitment ceremony. <sighs> they they had a bunch of people and a bunch of like jobbers in the ring. I don't know, just fill up space. Our truth came down. The crowd hated this. The crowd would not let this go on. Yes. Oh wait a second. Beach ball mania. If they were gonna have beach ball mania. It should have been during this segment because this segment was god awful. Uh, Tamaya switched partners. She's like, no, like, yeah. Uh, well, first of all, Dana Brooke had to go into her brazier or bustier or whatever women call it nowadays. It holds the holds in their boobas because hers are. Are massive and creamy, creamy white and soft and jiggly, but yet firm. And oh, I'm getting distracted. Yeah, she pulls out her vows. Um, Reggie says his vows. They have a ring too. Like this is a commitment ceremony. It's like there shouldn't be rings involved. This is weird. It's like one of those wedding things. And wrestling weddings never, never go well. Um. Yeah, and then Tamina decided she didn't want Tazawa to switch with Reggie. And then, and then she went over with Dana. And the crowd is like, yes, 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 yes. Oh, oh Tamina turned, turned lesbian for like a minute or two. But yeah, that was like the high point of it. And then Reggie, and then it was just an exchange of the 24-7 belt. I, who cares? We had next our Bobby Lashley segment. Um, he had to react to the MVP thing. And then we had the main event. It was Cody Rhodes versus Kevin Owens. The one that Seth chose to face Cody. Uh, KO just suplex and then just talks to Cody the most the whole match. Throws Cody over the table on the outside. Um, back in, when we come back from commercial break, 
the back in the ring. Kevin Owens does a frog splash. The swanton. Cody catches KO on the top rope, though. The superplex on Seth's music. Hits. Uh, Cody and Kevin both look distracted. Uh, Kevin gets Kevin Owens gets sent to the outside. <laughs> Seth says, get your fat ass up there. <laughs> Kevin Owens said something because you couldn't hear it. It was a count of victory. Cody looked absolutely confused. Cody, Cody Rhodes wins. And, uh, I am sandwich, man. I, you know what? It was a cheeseburger match. Mainly because Kevin Owens is a great talker. And that was Monday Night Raw. So I already told you what's going on for the rest of the week. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. If not, go back to my videos. Watch them. Easter Mania. The next show for the Daytona Beach Bonfire League will be Cinco Mania. Coming up in about two or three more weeks. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll see everyone tomorrow. Bye. Man. Tamina look hot tonight too. Hey Tamina. Tamina. I'm single too, okay? <laughs>